Uh, my name, hello, my name is Daniel Cruz. People in Libya thought that with Muammar Gaddafi now dead, everything would go back to normal. Well, that's not the answer. That's not the real. Sorry. That's not true. Except there's still one more problem. The average spring has been hit in many Middle East countries, such as Libya and Egypt. After researching the average spring, I have come to the conclusion that social networking has been one of the main causes. Many people may not agree with this, but have examined social network as a main cause due to its increased popularity in the, in the Middle East. First, I will tell you a little bit about the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring in the Middle East, for those who do not know, is um, a wave of revolutionary demonstrations that have been going on throughout the Middle East. It has been going on since December 18, 2010, and there have been revolutions in countries such as Egypt and Tunis. The Arab Spring has spread into a large part of the Middle East. Libya has had a fall of the government due to due to a civil war and civil uprisings in Bahrain and Yemen. There have also been major protests in Iraq, Jordan, Morocco, and Algeria. Also minor protests in Libya and Saudi Arabia. Now I'll tell you a little bit about social networking and its increased popularity. In the past year, social networking has become a big thing in the Middle East. Twitter has been very popular in the Arab world over the past year and has become a major cause of the Arab Spring. According to the Times of India, online Twitter messages in Arabic language have gone from 99 million a day to over 2 million in November 2011. Arabic is now the eighth popular language on Twitter when the users leave messages of no longer than 140 characters. According to the Times of India, English still remains the, remains the number one language in Twitter with over 70 million tweets, but has dropped from a considerable percentage from 60% to over to under 40% in the past two years. With the recent effects of the Arab, Arab Spring, Twitter has grown very fast in the Middle East. Internet usage has also been has grown in the Middle East. In an article I found called The Arab Spring, Live by the Media, Die by the Media, it states that Tunis, 40% of the population has access to the internet and there are no restricted websites. Also 20 to 30 independent newspapers have been released within the past 6 to 8 weeks. According to the article also, it shows that 25% of the population of Egypt have internet access and over 5 million have joined Facebook in the past year. Now that I've spoken about the increased popularity, I will tell you some causes of social media. Facebook has also been a major cause of the Arab Spring. According to The National, a newspaper in the Middle East, Carol Huang states that 9 out of 10 Egyptians surveyed in March 2011 that they used Facebook to organize protests and revolutionary movements. Carol Huang also states that the number of users of Facebook from the Middle East has jumped from 30% to 27.7 million users compared to the 18% growth in 2010 and in the past year the number of users has nearly doubled from 14.8 million. 9 out of 10 Egyptians who organized protests through Facebook made the protests come to life in the streets. Activists organized and publicized the protests by using social media sites beginning the Arab Spring. Social media has played a major role in also sharing opinions and influencing changes, according to Carol Wayne. Alec Ross, a tech paragon for the State Department, has spent the past years studying Twitter feeds and Facebook pages. Ross states that the, ri the rise of social media as a demonstration of world politics has shifted the power of balance from nation states to some individual small organizations. Ross admitted that the down the downside of the change is that the violent break breakout during the Arab Spring due to the voice of the social media. In conclusion, the Arab Spring has been going on for over a year in the Middle East and could be due to social media. Social media has become very popular in the past few years with many Middle Easterns creating Facebook pages and Twitter accounts. Social media also leaves behind causes such as increased power of small organizations and online, making them come to real life on the streets.